Okay, here's the error code. I'm just recording the error codes. I'm going to post every single one, Toby. Send me a new one. I don't know how widespread this is, but I have a feeling it will be. How did I get so lucky? I won the silicone, silicone lot lottery, is what they call it, right? And, oh crap, there we go, that's it. <sighs> Same code, one CE108255-1, no matter what. It used to actually let me play for a while, now it doesn't even let me get into a game. God of War, man, what a fun game that was. On oh, a PlayStation 4 that worked. I'll try to hold this steady, guys. Man, I think it's already frozen for this. No, yeah, it is. That's how far I made it. Half a second after you press the button, it froze. Anyways, what a piece of crap, huh? Bought four days ago. They told me a patch is going to fix this. You think a patch is going to fix this? I don't think a patch is going to fix this. Uh, okay. Look at that. That's how fast it did it. It won't even let me get to where I can press start. It won't even get me to the Sony information thing anymore. This is burnt. Whatever happened to this thing is burnt. Except the report. Hang on. Maybe I'll try it one more. Just for... Hmm. Shadow of the Colossus. One of my all time favorite Sony games. Come on, bro. Let me play the new one. I don't play the new one. Let's go. Bros. Yep, that is completely frozen. Good looking load screen, but jeez. So I just lost all my PlayStation 4 memory stuff. It's all been transferred over to here. Uh, I was gonna give my PlayStation 4 to uh, like a group home place, but the kid with kids in it, they don't have anything. But now I'm I'm, I'm still gonna do it, but. Now I'm stuck with uh, my PC and I'm stuck playing The Witcher 2. And my kids are going to have to learn how to play Witcher 2. So maybe that's a good thing right now. I'm better than this crap. Thank you. Anyways, if you're having this problem, I'll feel your pain, bro. Alright, I'm out.